Hi guys, this is Raju Rahman from Tectonic and today I've got the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. So what I'm gonna do is unbox this, try and open this up with a pair of scissors. So sliding off the top, you can see I've got the phone here. Just get that out. So you can see this is the Cosmic Black version, but there's also a Cosmic Grey. Uh, that one sold out pretty quick, so I wasn't able to get it. You can see that huge camera set up around the back. So let me just take, I nearly dropped it there. Let me take some of this off. and I'll power that on while we go through the rest of the box. Nothing there. That's weird. <laughs> there you go. When I threw the top cover off, there's something still inside. So yeah, you got uh, another box in here. You got the SIM ejection tool. And in this box, you got some more paperwork like the start guide and the warranty card. So here you've got your USB-C to USB-C cable. You've got your braided USB type C AKG earphones. You've got the three pin UK plug. This is a 25 watt fast charger to charge that huge 5,000 mAh battery on the S20 Ultra. Now the S20 Ultra also supports 45 watt fast charging. It's a shame that wasn't included instead. You'll have to buy that separately. I've got some replacement tips for the earphones here. Let's get to the phone itself. So it's got a huge 6.9 inch quad HD plus dynamic AMOLED Infinity O display and the O's for the camera cut out here that you can see. That's a 40 megapixel f2.2 front facing camera by the way. The screen has 120 hertz refresh rate so everything should feel and look buttery smooth. So powering this device, you have an Exynos 990 as this is the global version of the phone. I've got the one with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, but you can also get the one with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. Both variants support micro SD card up to one terabyte. So around the back, you have the huge camera setup. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there you go. So there's a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera, 108 megapixel f1.8 wide camera, a 48 megapixel telephoto camera, which can zoom up to 100 times, a 0.3 megapixel time or flight camera to capture depth information. So a whole variety of different cameras around there. And that sort of makes sense why this particular area is so huge. So let me just quickly get into the phone. So here's the phone. I've just gone through setting it up. It's still doing some sort of downloads and I guess it's completing the setup at the moment. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go straight to the display. And you can see I can crank up the brightness. We can switch between uh, different modes, so between light and dark. Of course, I'll switch to dark because that will probably consume less power. And you can see by default, the refresh rate is set to 60 hertz. So I guess if I switch that to 120 hertz, it will probably push the resolution down to full HD. So you can see the resolution switch to full HD plus here. And now if I select WQHD plus and apply that, I can see here it's saying the refresh rate doesn't support it. So I guess it'll switch back to 60 hertz. which it has, but it's not. So you can't select it here, you have to go back. 
and change the resolution to full HD. Now I can change it back to 120 hertz. Which definitely feels, I mean, to be honest, right here, I can't tell the difference. If we go into settings. And there, I can definitely tell just by looking at it. I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice, but yeah, as I sort of scroll through here, the display definitely looks very smooth. Definitely feels buttery and smooth here. Well, I mean, it definitely feels great in the hand. I just had to say that because that's something all YouTubers say. Um, I would probably have said it feels heavy, but coming from uh, the Galaxy Fold, you know, it, it feels, the S20 Ultra feels light in my hand. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks good. That cutout doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. It certainly looks smaller than uh, what's on the Note 10 Plus. Uh, yeah, this phone looks really great. So here on the bottom, you've got the USB-C port. You've got your speaker grill. Here on the right, you've got the power button and then the volume rocker. You've got the SIM card here. So the SIM card goes here on the top. Nothing that I can see on the left. That's pretty much it. So this camera is supposed to be really good. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly take a picture of this. Not that that's gonna give you much of an idea, but let's just take a quick snap and see what that looks like. Hmm, that does look pretty good. But do you know what? I'll be doing a camera test another day, so Please subscribe if you want to see that. I'll be doing uh, video speed tests um, between other phones and this phone. So again, if you want to see that, please subscribe. I've also got some cases from Rinky here. Well, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's possibly Ring. Um, yeah, lots of cases here, so I'll be doing a video on that. I've also ordered uh, an official case from Samsung um, for the Ultra. So again, I'll be checking that out as well. So if you want to see that, please do consider subscribing. This has been Raju Rahman from Tectonic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please subscribe and like. That would really help me out. And don't forget to check out these other videos too.